The next yeah. study I wanted to talk to you about was Tacagrelor and a look at the major adverse limb events. It was a systematic review and meta-analysis of the Pegasus and Timmy trials. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Right, uh, to, to be clear, the Pegasus and, and, and Themis trials, in fact. But, oh, but, um, right, but uh, yeah, it's from Greek mythology, not necessarily the most uh, well-known <laughs> character from Greek mythology, but nevertheless, um, uh, Pegasus and Themis both examined Tychagrelor in different populations, uh, but both positive studies. Pegasus examined Tychagrelor plus aspirin versus aspirin alone in patients who were one to three years post-MI, so stable post-MI patients, positive trial led to FDA approval of Ticaglor 60 BID on top of aspirin for those sorts of patients who are post-MI with multiple risk factors, multiple atherothrombotic risk factors, things like diabetes, for example, and who are at low bleeding risk. So that is uh, already an established therapy. And Themis, a bit more recent uh, data, but also a positive trial looking at stable patients with diabetes and with coronary artery disease as evidenced by prior stenting, prior PCI, prior cabbage, or medical management of their diabetes. And there too, the combination of Ticagrelor plus aspirin, again, Ticagrelor 60 BID plus aspirin, was superior to aspirin alone. So we know that that combo is effective at reducing the primary endpoint in each trial, which was cardiovascular death, MI, stroke. That's true in each individual trial. It's also true when you pull the data together. What was done nicely here was examining the effects on limb events. And as it turns out, in both trials, there is a significant reduction in limb events. Now, the absolute risk of limb events is relatively low because neither population was specifically enriched for PAD patients. But you can imagine, had it been PAD patients on top of either prior MI or diabetes, then the degree of risk reduction in limb events and probably also coronary and cerebral ischemic events would be even larger. But overall, the trials are quite concordant, showing significant reductions in MI, including big MIs, including ST elevation MI, significant reductions in ischemic strokes, and significant reductions now we're learning in peripheral ischemic events. So two trials, very concordant results, showing that in patients at sufficiently high ischemic risk, marked either by the presence of prior MI and Pegasus or diabetes and Themis, those sorts of coronary artery disease patients do seem to benefit from the combination of aspirin plus Ticagrelor versus aspirin plus placebo. Uh, there is an increase in bleeding, of course, one needs to be careful about that. But uh, nevertheless, in carefully selected patients, this seems to be a great therapy to not only reduce cardiac and cerebral ischemic events, but also peripheral ischemic events.